As we continue considering accounting systems, let's think about the different ways accountants interact with accounting information systems. And in particular, let's think about the roles that uh, accounts can play with regard to AIS. So AIS roles. And there are a number of roles that can be played. First, accountants play a large part in determining what needs to be in an accounting system. And it makes sense if you think about it. FASB, the SEC, other countries' regulatory bodies all have a complicated set of guidelines for gathering and recording transactions, uh, rules for uh, classifying information, reporting it, depreciation, and so forth. So one of the one of the roles that accountants play is designer. And all the large software companies that build ERPs, that build accounting systems, employ a number of accountants to help build the software itself and then uh, they and other s service firms in the uh, software ecosystem have accountants that help companies implement that software and get it set up to meet that particular company's needs. So designer uh, is one of those roles regarding AIS. It's the next role is kind of a special type of designer and that would be an implementer. As a system goes into an organization, a lot of decisions need to be made as to how to set that system up. What's the chart of accounts going to look like? What is the organization structure going to look like? What are the different companies? What are the legal entities going to be that need to be rolled up and consolidated for reporting purposes? How, how do we need to set this up so it meets our tax reporting requirements? So all of those are, uh, and not to mention, how are we going to set up vendors to pay them the way we want to pay them? How are we going to set up customers for billing and for sales and so forth? So all of those thousands and thousands of decisions are made during this implementation process for uh, accounting systems, and uh, the implementer uh, helps in that regard. So that's one of the roles that accountants can play. A third role, once the system's in place, well, you can imagine that it's going to record transactions and users are going to be keying those transactions in, whether it be a journal entry, whether it be uh, accounts payable, invoices from vendors, and so forth. A lot of it's electronic, uh, to be sure, but uh, the financial reporting group does a lot of uh, manipulation. And there may be a lot of adjustments that take place on both the accounts payable and the accounts receivable side of things as well. Moving fixed assets from one area to another need, need to be put into the system as updates. So users create information and use the information in the systems as well. Another type of role is what I would consider more of a specialized type user, and that's a manager. So a manager is going to be a user that basically looks at reports for the most part. Uh, they could be one of the uh, dashboard type reports uh, that shows the company at a snapshot or that manager's area of responsibility at a snapshot. And the manager is going to run reports, drill down on reports for more detailed information, and use that information to help make decisions. Now, they also may use the system uh, to help uh, allocate responsibilities or permissions to various employees for uh, one aspect or another of uh, using the AIS. And then finally, the fifth role, well, uh, AISs are used to create financial reports, financial statements to manage the business. So someone needs to be able to come in and see how those systems are running. So we've got an evaluator. And 
an evaluator role that reviews the system, reviews all of the functions and controls in the system to determine whether it's uh, working effectively. And one of the primary types of evaluators would be an auditor, and specifically an IT auditor for the technology side of AIS. So evaluators, managers, users, implementers, and designers, the five key roles in uh, AIS. And since there are a lot of areas to review in AISs, both from an evaluation standpoint and from a design and implementation standpoint, uh, there are some certifications that have been put together specifically and in, that include AIS functions. So certifications. The most common one you're going to see in most uh, accounting firms, most of the big four firms, the global 10 firms are going to have a number of professionals with this certification, CISA. That is CISA, it stands for Certified Information System Auditor. And that uh, certification is managed by ISACA, which is an organization that specializes in uh, review and controls for uh, technology, information systems used in businesses. So a CISA certification is going to certify that someone is a specialist in IT auditing. Another certification is a CITP, Certified IT Information Technology Professional. Now that's a more general certification that just basically uh, certifies overall IT competence by the professional. And that, this one's managed by the AICPA. Uh, so it, allow, it basically says this person knows how to utilize, how to implement IT in a way that can help uh, organizations and also uh, protect data by making sure it's reliable, secure, accessible, etc. A third kind of uh, certification that uh, frequently is seen in the IT arena is the Certified Internal Auditor. This certification is managed by the Institute of Internal Auditors. Uh, internal audit is a function that has become more and more important and a lot of companies are, use, are seeing it more as a value added activity than as a traffic cop activity. I think that uh, they may have been seen as in years previous. Uh, but the CIA is basically someone who's certainly going to look at the in IT operations of a company, but uh, the uh, internal audit covers a, a very broad array of other activities as well, uh, all the way to uh, evaluating the manufacturing processes for uh, potential improvements and efficiency. Are they effective? Uh, are they working the way they're supposed to? Uh, operations, other, other types of activities throughout the organization. So CIA, CITP, CISA, uh, three key certifications.